Hey guys, so for those of you who are new to Blender, I just wanted to quickly go through the software and the main commands and yeah, so that you're well prepared to follow any tutorials that you want. Uh, so first of all, when you open Blender, you see many different sections. Basically here is everything that we have in the scene. Here is the light, the camera, the cube. So usually we'd delete the cube and add something else to create our model. But here I'll show you the basic commands. So here's the cube, right? Let's go into edit mode to edit it. We have vertices. We have edges. And we have faces. And here are the selection modes to edit any of those. So, for example, what you could do, press A to select everything, and then the main three commands. So, first you have scale, press S to do that, and you can scale it. Ctrl Z for cancelling what you've done. And then, what else you could do? You could rotate it, R, to do that. Rotate. And then you could move it. That's G to grab it and move. So, the other thing you need to know, Blender is a 3D software. So, here we have a 3D space. So, the Z axis goes through here. And then that's the X, that's the Y. So that means, basically, if you select the object and then decide to scale it on any of the axes, you could press S and then the axis you want. So S, Z would be doing that. S, X would be doing that. And then S, Y would be doing that. And same goes for... Uh, basically, same goes for any other commands. So rotate Z would rotate it along the Z axis. Like that. Rotate X and then rotate Y. And same for grab and Z. We are moving it on the Z axis. G x on the x-axis and g y on the y-axis basically when you press something you just press everything you need and then only when you're done with the movement you should press left click basically left click on your mouse or if you decide that, they, that you don't want to move it after all just press right click and it will snap back in the position. So that's more or less everything. Also, if you wanted to move it or rotate or anything, G, Z, for example, before you did anything else, you have the option to change um, basically the number that you rotated it to. So for example, if we selected everything and decided to rotate it on the z-axis like that, let's say, and we wanted it to be precisely 90 degrees, we can just type it here, minus 90. Or alternatively, which is also a good way to do that, would be just uh, press A, R, Z, and then just type 90 on your keyboard. And it has done the same. So that's pretty much everything for the commands. One more command which is really useful would be, let's go to edit mode, let's select the top face. And then if you don't want to move the face, for example, like that, but rather want to create a separate face, basically extend the object, we press E, the command is called extrude. And it can be rather like here in, or inside. And then we could press S. And now, look, we have a box, right? 
So then we could press E again, extrude S. Basically, I'd recommend uh, first trying out all these commands and just seeing what you could create. It doesn't have to be anything. It could be basically anything you want, right? Uh, just scale G to move, right? And just create something geometrical or anything like that. You'll remember the commands, which would be pretty cool. And then, for example, the command to add something would be Shift A. And then here you have Mesh and Cube. So that's how you can add Cube. Here you can change its size, its location as well. Um, that's pretty much the main things you need to know. And the rest will be in tutorials. Hope you liked it.